Big John, Mookie Hawkins, Warfo Sports 1080. How you doing today, Big Dog? Good. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. And, um, you know, last year we was in the locker room in that Houston game and, you know, it was a lot of a lot of emotion to be in this place. And I know, you know, you would give whatever just to get back out there to just to have another series. Now, you know, that time has come, you know, how important it is to be complete this week versus uh, the Colts. Um, yeah, I mean, last year was last year. Uh, I think we have a definitely we got a more mature team and, and a better team overall. Um, and, I mean, we know the Colts are a very good team and we're going to have to play a good game to, to win. I mean, uh, Phil Rivers is a proven guy. Um, uh, 99 is having a hell of a year. Justin Houston is a good um, guy that I've been going against you know, since KC, when he was in KC and I was in Oakland. Um, so, you know, we have a challenge in front of us. So. Absolutely, yeah. And, and another another challenge up front, DeForest Buckner, care to talk about him? Um, well, I played him two years ago in, in 18, and um, I mean, he's grown a lot since then. Um, he, he added to his repertoire of uh, moves uh, that, that, that really calls uh, – you know, destruction in, in, in the pocket. Um, not only can he bull rush now, he has a nice rip. Uh, he rips his arm through and gets on the edge of the lineman. Um, so he's been having a great year. I mean, hats off to him. Good job. Absolutely. Yeah, you've been having a great way as well, man. Go luck, Saturday. I appreciate it. Hey, John. It's John Scott. Um, you guys are rolling, getting a ton of pub from everyone. And I was just curious, does it matter at this point if you guys enter the playoffs as hot as you are? No. I mean, I think we were pretty good. Like, we were pretty hot last year. I can't remember. I mean, we beat the Steelers. And then, uh, I mean, we played Jets last game, but we didn't really play. So, I mean, I thought we were – I thought well, we felt good going into it last year. And uh, we saw how that turned out. And, um, and we felt the pain of, of even early when we weren't expecting to get kicked out. So, uh, and then just uh, offensive line, you guys seem to – to be progressing and obviously there's been a lot of in and out a lot of in and out you've had some consistency okay. here down the stretch how has that helped you guys maybe take that extra step and crescendo towards this playoff um it's been huge um especially uh ike coming in and playing as well as he had i think ike was the guy that really came in and, and solidified his position and made it so that uh you know, we could have some continuity up front. Um, so big shouts out to Ike Bucker. That's just, I mean, been having a great year. Stepped up huge, um, very smart, makes the calls out there. And, and a guy that, you know, we know we can trust and who brings energy. Quickly, just real quick, because Ike is someone that no one really ever talks about. Um, what is it that makes him almost like an unsung guy up front? Um, just, I mean, he works so hard. He's, con he's consistent. Uh, he's super smart. He's, I mean, he can probably play center if he needed him to. Um, and just the effort he brings. He's, I'm trying to beat him to the ball every play. Um, so, I mean, he's been, he's been wonderful for us. And thank God we got him. Thanks a lot, John. Hey, John. Uh, Dan Fates in Rochester. I know we're asking about it and can ask about it all week and leading up to this. How annoying is it talking about last year's playoff game? when you guys are probably thinking like it, it that doesn't matter this year? Um, I mean, it's not really, it's not too annoying. I mean, it's kind of good and keep it fresh in our mind. And, and um, you know, we don't, we don't want that. What happened last year to happen this year. So it's on us to go out and play a good game. And, and which, I mean, the, the Colts, uh, like I said, their defense is you know, tops in a lot of things and they, uh, they pose a lot of you know, difficulties up front, so we're going to play a good game. How do you not force it, you know, as the cut of, well, you guys lost last year. Like, how do you not put more pressure on you got to win this week than there already is because it is the playoffs? Um, I mean, I think it's the people we have in this building right now. Um, we don't really think about it, man. We just It's just the, the next game. And, you know, if we – we don't play. We don't play good. We don't get the number two seed last week, you know, or the week before. Um, so there's always stuff riding on a lot of games, and um, just right now it's you know, winning your home. So we, we know what's at stake. Uh, we've been on the other side. We know how it feels. Um, so you know, we'll be all right. Thanks, John. 
Okay, John, it's uh, Mark Gaughan from the Buffalo News. Uh, I, I was on with uh, Jerry. I was on the other channel, so if I, uh, you answered this, I apologize. But uh, to Forrest Buckner, just uh, what do you see from him and what uh, uh, are the tough qualities he presents? Um, I, the growth in him from the last two years has been tremendous. Um, he's having a great year. Before, he was more of a one-trick pony, you know, bull rush, and, and you'll be all right if you can get through that. But now he's added a lot of uh, things off his bull rush, the swim, the rip, he can push, pull you really good. Um, so he, just the growth in him, uh, he's been playing lights out. And then uh, a couple of questions on, uh, on pass protection. Uh, you got to see you guys. Uh, throw the ball uh, a ton, and uh, you've only given up seven sacks the last seven games. Um, what do you think about uh, just the uh, way you have worked together to contain a lot of stunts? It seems like, uh, you know, I mean, obviously it's never perfect, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you, you rarely see stunts causing, you know, a lot of trouble up the middle, uh, or not that often. What do you think about that communication, and why has that worked so well? Um, yeah, I mean, going back to last year, people would just go five down and, and, and run games on us. And, uh, you know, we struggled a little bit. And, uh, I mean, those things are they're tough. I mean, uh, the Broncos, uh, starting with the Broncos, uh, they were – that's all they did against us. And, I mean, they they posed a good threat. And, um, I mean, I think just, just the weeks of preparation that we've had, uh, the Steelers did it, uh, Broncos did it, and the Dolphins did it a little bit. So I just think the, the reps that we're getting, the continuity we we're able to get up front now that you know, we kind of had our start in five for a few weeks now. Um, and, I mean, it really comes down to the receivers that are getting open for us and, and Josh doing stuff with his legs to make us look better.